Hi everybody! In this video we're going to just do a brief introduction to matrix methods for linear systems. And this is involving our differential equations. So we're pretty much relating what we know about matrices to our differential equations. And it's going to help us rewrite some things. So matrix algebra provides a compact notation for expressing a system of linear differential equations. So we've been using matrices to express systems of linear equations. Now we're just specifying that those equations are actually differential equations. So here's an example. Express the system as a matrix equation. So notice what we have. We do have four differential equations. Each of these has a, a derivative in it. It's all up to the first derivative. Um, sometimes they're higher, but we're just dealing with first derivatives here. And so we have x1 prime written in terms of x1, x2, and so on. x2 prime written in terms of x1, x2, and so on. And so in a matrix equation, this is how we can write it. So notice what we have. The derivatives of x1, x2, x3, and x4 equal this coefficient matrix times this vector matrix right here containing our unknowns, our variables. And so if you were to do your matrix multiplication uh, across each row and times this column vector here, you would end up getting one at a time each of these original four equations. Okay, so let's just do the first one. It would be 2 times x1 plus t squared times x2 plus 0 times x3 plus 4t plus e to the t times x4, which is equation 1 right here, which equals x1 prime. Okay, so let's generalize this. In general, a linear homogeneous system in what we call normal form can be written like this. So notice what we have on the one side of our equal sign is the derivatives. So x1 prime equals something in terms of x1, x2, and so on, all the way to xn. x2 prime, same thing, all the way up to x sub n prime. And then notice the coefficients are our entries from our matrix here. So this is saying entry 1, 1. This is the entry in the first row in the first column is the coefficient on x1 for our first equation here. And then if we go out down to the end here, x sub n prime, this is the entry in the nth row in the first column times x1. And then this right here would be the last entry, last row, last column of our coefficient matrix. In this case, it would be this 0 here times x sub n. And so this is what we call normal form for our system. And then the matrix notation of this system in normal form is just x prime equals this matrix A times x, which is exactly what we see right here. So this is x prime. This is the matrix A. And then this is x. Okay, So that's the matrix notation. So we're going to work on writing or expressing um, some equations in matrix notation. Okay, so let's express m times y double prime plus ky equals 0. And um, you've seen this before, just as a reminder, this is the differential equation for an undamped, unforced mass spring oscillator. So express this equation as an equivalent system of first order equations in normal form in matrix notation. Okay, so key things to note here, what we're asked to do is eventually write this in matrix notation from our normal form. But also notice we are dealing with first order equations. So right now this is a second derivative. This is a second order equation. So the first thing we have to do is write y double prime uh, expressed as a first derivative. So what we can do here, we can say that well, y double prime, the second derivative of y, is just the derivative of the first derivative. So if we just call the first derivative something, in this case I'm going to call it v, I can write y double prime as v prime. And I just pick v because the derivative of velocity is acceleration. So I'm just saying like this is acceleration, so this would be velocity. It doesn't matter what variable you pick. Okay, so now I can say that v equals y prime. It's just taking the place of the y prime right here. So then our equation, we just replace y double prime with v prime. Okay, and then here's my note for that substitution. And now what I want to do is I want to solve for the first derivatives. We know that y prime equals v, but what does v prime equal? And so notice you would just do a little bit of algebra real quick. Solve for v prime, and you would get that it's negative ky over m. And so now that lets us go right into normal form. 
So we're writing our first derivatives in terms of our unknown variables. So y prime is just v from here or from our choice back here. And so if I want to write it in terms of both y and v, I could just say, well, y prime is no y's, zero y's, plus one v. And then v prime, since we just solved for it from right here, it's negative ky, a k over m times y, and then no v's, so plus zero v. And then that allows me to go right into matrix notation after this. So I have my y v vector prime, or you could just write it as, either way that you write it here is fine. You can say y prime v prime. And then the coefficients was that there was zero y's in the first equation, plus one v. Second equation, there was negative k over m y's and zero v's. So this is matrix notation for our uh, equation up here. So we express this second order differential equation as an equivalent system using first order equations. And we ended up writing it in matrix notation. So in general, for an nth order differential equation, your unknowns are going to be all the derivatives up to 1 before n. So if let's say this is a fifth order differential equation, then you would go up to the fourth derivative in your unknowns. So 0 with derivative, first derivative, and so on. And so this is what it would look like. You would say, okay, y is x sub 1. So you're basically just giving it variables. You're naming your unknowns these variables. So this is technically the 0 if derivative. So my first unknown, x sub 1, is my 0 if derivative. My second unknown, I'm calling x sub 2, is my first derivative. It's just y prime, which is the derivative of x sub 1. Okay, so we're just working our way down. So my third unknown, x sub 3, is just my second derivative. Or, or it's the derivative of the previous unknown. And then all the way down here, um, th remember this notation with the parentheses, that's denoting a derivative. So this is saying that n minus 1th derivative is just going to be my unknown x sub n. Okay, so again, with my example, if this was a fifth order differential equation, this would say that my fourth derivative of y can be written with the uh, variable x sub 5. Or it's the derivative of x sub 4 uh, or x sub 4 prime. And then my uh, differential equation, the one we start with, so again, my example was fifth order. So if this was uh, the fifth derivative of y, then we could write it like this in, in general. So now let's try this one more time. We're going to write the following in matrix notation. Notice we have two equations. Uh, we have some x's and some y's in both of these equations. And we have up to the second derivative. These are actually both second order differential equations. So what we have to do first is we have to define our unknowns. And so we're going to go ahead and just let x sub 1 equal x. And so then I'm going to say then x sub 2 is just x prime. And then x sub 3, I'm going to call that one y. And so x sub 4 is just y prime. So I only need to go up to the first derivatives for defining my variables here because this is a second order differential equation. So you need to go up to the derivative that's one less than the order. So second order equation, we need to go to the first derivatives in our list. If this was a tenth order differential equation, we would have to go up to the ninth derivative in our list. So now here's our system. So just rewriting, notice what um, is being taken the place of other things. So let me, let me start from the back here, from the right side y is what I called x sub 3. So notice this is minus 2 times x sub 3. Moving left, plus 6x is now plus 6x1 because that's what I defined x sub 1 to be. And then notice what we have here in the front, 2x sub 2 prime is the derivative, okay, the derivative of x prime, which is the second derivative of x. All right, so ho hopefully that makes sense here x sub 2 prime is the derivative of x prime, or the second derivative, which is exactly this here. Okay. Same thing down here. x sub 4 prime is the derivative of y prime. So it's y double prime, or second derivative of y, right here. 
Okay, plus 2 times x sub 3, because x sub 3 is the same thing as y, minus 2x, or minus 2x sub 1 from our list. All right, now what that lets us do is rewrite this system in normal form, where we've solved for the first derivatives. Okay, so we have our unknowns. We had up to four unknowns here, x1 through 4. And so we have x sub 1 prime, x sub 2 prime, x sub 3 prime, x sub 4 prime, solved for. That's normal form. Let me start with the two that have some things in on the right side um, from our equations here, and then I'll get back to the other ones. Notice x sub 2 prime came from equation 1 right here. If you just take equation 1 right here and you solve it for x sub 2 prime, you will get this equation right here. If you take the second equation and you solve this for x sub 4 prime, you will get this equation right here. And so the other two, notice we didn't have x sub 1 prime or x sub 3 prime anywhere in our system. So all you have to do is go back to your list and say, okay, well x sub 1 prime, by definition, is just x sub 2. Because x sub 1 was x, if I take its derivative, x sub 1 prime, that's exactly what we called x sub 2. Very much the same over here for x sub 3 prime. By definition, it is x sub 4. Because if you go back to our list, x sub 3 prime is just y prime, which is exactly what we called x sub 4. And so once we've done that, and I highly recommend making this list because it's going to help you keep track when you write this in normal form. Once you've done that, you're ready for matrix notation. So you can write this either way. You have your x sub 1 prime, x sub 2 prime, x sub 3 prime, x sub 4 prime, or you can put the prime notation outside like this, and then it equals a times x. So this is your coefficients from your equations, and this is your vector containing your unknowns. So let's just go across, um, let's do row 2. So this says x sub 2 prime equals, so that's right here, x sub 2 prime equals negative 3 times x sub 1, which is right here, plus 0 times x sub 2, plus 1 times x sub 3, which is right here, plus 0 times x sub 4. So that's exactly equation 2 from our system. Okay, so that's it for our introduction to uh, basically putting together a compact way of writing our differential equations or a system of differential equations using what we've learned uh, with matrices. Thanks for watching.